And now we get a peek at some of the top players here for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. Brandon Gaud and Charles Davis ready to go in the booth. We hope you're ready to go at the controls. Let's play. Here's the putter, Sam Martin now, ready to get us started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. Short boot, take it at the 21. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. They come out here in the eye. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run. Probing now early to try and get things done later. It's caught. Left side, Bolden. The reception good for seven. It's third down. And just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. They're going to look to throw. And that will be caught, but out of bounds. Out of bounds, ruled incomplete here. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, and that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. And look here, it's an opening drive fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. Well, not only did they try to fake it, they put the ball in the arm of their punter, and it didn't work out. Not the quarterback. No. The, the punter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Risky. It, and it's so funny because when it works, genius. When it doesn't work, not so smart. Not so genius. In this case, not so genius, but I do admire that he went for it. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Over the middle to Evans. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. We saw him hit a big play there on a deep post. And most of the time, the post isn't available because you usually have defenders in the middle of the field. But if you throw enough curls and crossing routes and underneath routes, <laughs> I know from experience, they get tired of watching those balls get caught. They start to creep up a little bit, and that's when you can hit them big over the top. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Second and goal from the five to Johnson again. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. And let's see six defensive backs out there. They're in the dime here on third and goal. To throw, it's Carr. He dropped it. Couldn't hang on in the end zone. So no six points incomplete. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big-time drop.
Well, they're going to try this. They need five full yards to hit the end zone here on fourth and goal, but they're going for it. They'll go for it. It's Carr. And it is incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the ball will go over on the goal line stand. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? <laughs> that was planned going into it. Not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold no, he up. he trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much. And I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Well, we'll see what his offense can do. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. They'll look to throw here on first down. Into a double team and it's intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. So they take over not only in enemy territory, but in the red zone at the 16-yard line. And the Cardinals offense here ready to take over. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. Hey, a simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of... And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. I don't care what game it is. Everyone's always looking for an early advantage, an early break, and they almost had one there. That should have been an interception. Nice catch. Just couldn't get his feet down in bounds. And offensively lucky to have that one back. Time running out here on the play clock. On second down, Johnson. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Taking him down is a veteran, Darrell Rivas. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Here's Carr. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gaughton, Charles Davis. It's the Cardinals in possession of the football, and they've got it here with a first down. first down and it pops free the collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down everything about that play tells you about today's nfl offenses and what they're asking out of running backs you can't just be a guy who can run the football you have to be able to catch it as well and he didn't get that done on that play here's johnson and he goes backwards on this one losing yardage to the seven so he loses three yards there now third down Third and goal. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Sean Lee. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now this offense ready to take over again. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Yeah, coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. 
Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. That coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now, how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Boy, he came in off the edge so quick. And now before they run this fourth down play, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Here's Lachlan Edwards now. On, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. And this will get inside the 20 and be touched down just outside of the 15-yard line. So out now come the Cardinals. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. Here's Carr to throw. He's got time in the pocket. He gets it into the hands of Larry Fitzgerald. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. So an entertaining first half, and now we have hit the two-minute warning. On first and ten, here's Carr over the middle here to Rudolph. And he's brought down. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it. Now the confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. So second and 10 here. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Well, that second down run, a big help. The seven yards leaves him with just a third and three now. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now Carr. He's under pressure, and he will go down. Sat back at the 38. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He was trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground and you're getting sacked. And that's the risk of a long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. His throw incomplete. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Complete here to the right to Bolden. A good pickup there, 22. 
I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. They're going to have no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. An extra DB added here for the cards on third. Blitzer play coverage. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Come on, let's go. Great 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 now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And they're going to bring him down. Back across midfield at the 45. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, OK, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. To throw, it's Carr. He's going to rifle one deep left side. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And that'll make it third down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. And he's got Fitzgerald. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. On first and ten, here's Carr. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the ten-yard line. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So as they take it over, we step aside. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here's the Cardinals' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you're all looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Here's Carr to throw. Finding time. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic. So anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate, catch it, and even add a little extra in the end with a short run. 
So there on that play, offensively, they ran the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage. So as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to talk to your other coverage guys and let them know that that receiver is crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end of the half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game, and with the lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. A first down carry here for Johnson. And not much, maybe a yard down to the 23. Sharif Floyd makes a stop. And they're going to speed things up here. Tough day, tough sledding right there. And it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. It's the Pro Bowl corner. Akeem Tlaib there to stop it. And they insert their dime package. Six DBs here on third and six. Expecting pass all the way. To throw his car. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. From back at the two, here's third and goal. They'll run it with Johnson. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. David Johnson punching it in from a yard away. And the Cardinals now adding on to their lead. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. Welcome back live to Orlando. It's Cardinal football. They're also out in front of the scoreboard as we get set for the fourth. Martin, the putter now, out to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he probably should have stayed in the end zone as he'll muster a return up to only the 14-yard line. And here now the offense heading back out there. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Complete here to the right to Bolden. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. No gain, and it's sinking down. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. 
and that turns into one. A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Back to throw again. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Give him eight yards on the play, and they pick up the first. And a two-score game, obviously. Every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And right side, Henry's got it. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. Second down now after the pass completion. They'll look to throw again. Complete. Richardson has it. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get up. Oh, no, he lost the football. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right. A lost opportunity. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. They'll set up to throw. Screen play, Johnson. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory. Well, David Johnson on his way. Touchdown, Cardinals. David Johnson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cardinals will extend their lead. To say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Here's Martin now following the score as he'll send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he will take it back only to about the 13-yard line here. Now this offense ready to head back out there. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Looking to throw. And a reception made over the middle. This is Bolden. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. They'll call it luck or skill, whatever the case is. They're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> they don't care if it 
one's Walker skill. Or the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground. Whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you retain possession, that's all you're looking for. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. That one intended for Anquan Bolden. And that brings up fourth down. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's going to let it fly. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play that time through the air. 38 yards. We know it's tough enough to pick up first downs on third down plays. But when you go for it on fourth down, sometimes you're actually just praying. And on that play, the prayer was answered. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking for Todd Gurley. And that'll bring up second down. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. A battle for it and it's intercepted. Deion Sanders, the Hall of Famer with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Two timeouts remaining defensively, but that shouldn't make much difference right here. It really shouldn't, but a lot of coaches look at it similar to baseball with the intentional walk. Always bringing in other right? sports. Always, hey, listen, think about the intentional walk, right? What if one gets past the catcher? What if he uncorks a wild one and now you still have an opportunity? That's why they like to use him all the way through. The storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is, and what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team, there's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column, too. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.